everybody, and welcome to the Week 2 After Hours Gaming League matchup between Geek Squad and Faxet. I am Adam the Eclectic Gamer Pitzer, and joining me as always is Chris Max Sparrow Johnson. How are you doing, Chris? Great. How are you, Adam? Doing good. I'm finally ready to cast this game. I'm excited. Me Both teams tell. are undefeated, 1-0. It's a clash of the titans here. <laughs> Uh, so first off, uh, as we uh, have done in the previous weeks, uh, let's just go over quickly the picks and bans by both teams. Um, so Geek Squad, who is on the blue side, banned Cassidy, Dr. Mundo, and Yasuo. And Faxet on the purple side banned out Renekton, Shivana, and Hecarim. Now looking a little bit at, um, at some of the, the teams themselves and what, uh, what they've played, it seemed to me, and you can tell me what you think here, uh, Max, uh, it seemed like the Geek Squad bands were pretty much meta bands. They weren't, didn't seem specifically directed at the fact set players. Uh, particularly, they didn't ban yeah. Fiddlesticks, who the fact set jungler has had over 400 games with on season three. So, yeah. I wouldn't surprising. be surprised. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they picked that. Um, the and the fact set bands, uh, from what I from what I saw, I didn't see anything in particular. Uh, Looking at the histories of the the players as well, that that indicated that any of those, either of those should be banned out. Yeah, uh, those, are, those could be meta bans, though. It's a, it's a little surprising from the Hecarim ban, in my opinion. But you know, he's he's a pretty strong jungler. Yeah, I didn't notice any of them, uh, um, any of the, any of the teams, but I, I maybe I could have just missed one of them. Uh, but it looks like they're targeting out that top lane a little bit, especially with the Doctor Mundo. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what facts it picks for their top lane. But anyway, going into the picks, uh, Geek Squad picks Annie. Who you um, very strong, uh, very strong support currently. Uh, Facts that went on to pick Caitlyn and Leona. Uh, again, pretty strong, very uh, current meta bot lane. Uh, I know the facts that uh, facts that ADC had been picking uh, Tristana quite a bit, so uh, looks like they decided to skip over that. Um, but then Geek Squad picked up Thresh and Lucian, which means. Either Annie or Thresh is not going to be a support. Probably Annie. You don't see Thresh in many other lanes. So probably yeah, a mid lane Annie. Maybe it'll be Jungle Thresh. Jungle Thresh? Oh, <laughs> I, like, I would say 80 Thresh, but I already picked Lucian, so I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Fact Set picks up Morgana and Elise, and I know those are two champions they've played a couple times as well. Uh, I believe they paid, played Morgana mid lane uh, last week as, as well, and I've seen Elise actually go in the top lane, I think, in one of their um, one of their preseason games. So even though you see Elise, you usually assume that's a jungle pick. It might not be here. And finally, uh, Geek Squad picks up Jarvan 4 and Garen. I don't see a lot of Garen. I think he showed up in the LCS not too long ago. But, um, Did he on the team? That sounds awesome. I, I, I like Garen. He's just, he's not a very, you're right, he's not a common competitive pick. No. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, but uh, that Jarvan clearly going in the jungle, and then finally Faxet picks up Fiddlesticks, the uh, Eternal King's uh, favorite champion. So we're going to see an at least top lane, which is can always be interesting in that uh, in that top lane matchup. I think just because of uh, she has that sort of range advantage that you don't often see uh, in the top lane nowadays. Yeah, people don't pick her top too much anymore, so it's kind of surprising to see that too. Yeah, but I mean, I like her in the top lane. She's uh, she's good because she she can tank it up. She's got that damage. Spiderlings can, you know, uh, block off window books or whatever they're looking at. Or in yeah, this case, can block yeah. off skill shots. I, I tried at least top lane once. I think I went 0 and 5. <laughs> <laughs> With that ringing endorsement, let's see how well it does. <laughs> uh, do you have any uh, uh, predictions or comments based on uh, what we've seen so far here in the picks and bans, Max? No, both team comps look, look fine. I guess not too much to say. You know, I think uh, Fax set may have a better team fighting composition um, and uh, Geek Squad will have probably maybe a stronger early game if Jarvan can get rolling because Jarvan has a much stronger early game than Fiddlesticks would so watch out for that yeah, that'll be interesting. I, I will like to see how uh, Eternal King uh, does on that Fiddlesticks he's played so many games with so with that being said let's go ahead and get started in the game uh, so again, Geek Squad is here on the blue side, and Fax Set is on the purple side. Um, so, have, have you played a lot? Of, have you played much Fiddlesticks in the jungle, 
Max? I have tried it a couple times. I think he's one of the, the hardest champions to play. It's He's one of those where you either play it just right and you barely survive with you know all your health or you just die over and over again. <laughs> I tended to just die over and over again. It is it is rough. Uh, yeah, like he's got he's got great sustain in the jungle, and he can have some pretty surprising ganks. Um, and I will say that Pool Party Leona is one of my favorite skins in the whole game, so she clearly wins the skin battle in this game. Um, but. Other than that, it uh, looks like, like no one's going for anything, no any invades. Um, looks like we had an early ward dropped over by the, on the, the blue side, on the purple side jungle. Uh, it seems like a little early to drop it, but maybe they wanted to get right to the lane. Yeah, what um, kind of ward was that? Is that a uh, three minute ward? Hey, it must have been, yeah. The trinket wards are not up yet. Um, wow. But uh, maybe, it, perhaps they're planning on going for an invade and they want to. They want to see if the other teams are uh, going to get involved. Um, yeah. maybe, the, maybe it's more of a defensive ward in case they get invaded. They can watch the blue buff. Yeah, that is a that is a good question. I mean, Jarvan's not particularly known for invading, but hmm. it could be interesting. Um, yeah, I know that that's been a, a tactic here with uh, with the trinket wards. Is you can it'll last long enough if you get one of your um, your allies to throw it down for you just to watch your other camp in case they invade, you can go to, uh, you can go, um, invade them instead. So it looks like both junglers are starting at the top side, which means theoretically they're gonna meet for an epic 3v3 in the bottom lane at some point, uh, which should be interesting to see. Yep. Looks like we're getting a weird, uh, minimap bug that's a little unfortunate, but... Oh yeah, it looks like a replay file. The the vision is not quite um, not quite working out. Uh, you can't. That's you can't right. see We can see what's going on. Sorry about that, viewers. We'll be we'll we'll be playing live next time so we'll, uh, as soon as we can, so we won't have that kind of issue. Yeah. Uh, There's at least been some tough poke down on top lane. Just like you said, that range is really tough for Garen to deal with, especially. Uh, yeah, it's the kind of thing you can take advantage of. Um, she can even, you know, even if you don't want to use your cocoon, you can use that to keep someone off of CS, especially if there's a couple they're going to go for. Oh, Leona going in deep here. They get some good harass down on Dilution. Oh, but they oh, come back with a... Counter engage. That was a little bit of a rough counter engage, just because yeah. Ooh, they she got can't push that much damage friend. down. Yeah. yeah. Uh... When Lucian's at that low of health, uh, and, they, and they hooked Leona, they didn't hook Caitlyn. At least if they hooked Caitlyn, they can stop her from dealing any damage. But uh, in that case, Lucian took quite a bit. And oh, Leona's ooh, going deep. Again. Ooh. Oh, Thresh is going yeah. deep with no, no backup. But Yeah, Thresh got the hook, but if Lucian goes in for it, he's going to take so much damage. And Elise is not only pushing, but getting some good harass down. Oh, we got a gank uh, in mid lane. A level 3 gank. Uh, ooh, the in the flash. Oh, uh, not enough. So I think uh, under flash. Start more action there. Yeah, hopefully, uh, I would. I would imagine he's going to come back to that lane, uh, knowing the flash is down. Uh, that fear can kind of be a, a tricky animal because uh, you don't know which direction they're going to run. They sort of run in a random direction. So sometimes they run, like in that case, right back to their tower in exactly the direction you didn't want them to. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes they'll they'll run. In a terrible direction. I believe they're fixing that in patch three point or four point three, where it, it always runs away from you. So if you get those ganks from behind, they'll they'll run in the direction you want. Uh, looks like Lucian's able to stay in lane here. He didn't have to, you know, go back to base and miss an ACS. And looks like it's pretty even now. But in that mid lane with that harass, Morgana's doing really well uh, over Annie. Yeah, it looks like the uh, effect set is pressuring every lane here on Peak Squad. And, I mean, Garen almost had to go back, too, but Garen has a lot of sustain, and Lucian's running Lifesteal Quince, and he's got his Doran's Blade, so he can hang out a little longer, too. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh... Oh, Thanos he... hanging around mid. He's going back for the return gank. Oh, that's close with the drain. Oh. Just got out of range. But yeah. they are forcing her out of lane again, and that, that CS lead is just going to continue to grow. Yeah, that CS lead is already 32 to 17. It's pretty strong. Oh, yep, now she has double anti-CS, so it's looking pretty grim. 
Oh, Lucian got hit by the Zenith Blade again, and at least Thresh was able to go. throw her back. Uh, Luna, Leona's doing very well in that matchup, because uh, she, she's able to hit Lucian quite a bit. So if you hit Thresh, he can actually... Oh, we got a Genko on top. Um, at least doesn't have anyone to repel back to, but she's able to... Give him a flash out of that. Yeah. But, so they got the flash. Uh... Depending on where she's in the lane, at least can repel out pretty easily, but she didn't have anywhere to go that time. But, you yeah. know, I'll call it a successful gank by Jarvan if they blow the flash. For sure, yeah. always worth it. Didn't cost them anything either, you know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was going to say, I was gonna say um, Thresh can counter Leona a little bit because he can, if he times his flay right, he can fling her back after she hits her Zenith Blade, but before she can hit her Q stun, and actually she won't get any stun out of it at all. Um, yeah, yeah, that's some that's some pro action right there though. That's pretty tough. <laughs> it is pretty tough, but uh, it also is a lot harder if Leona's hitting Lucian instead of Thresh with her Zenith Blade. That's true. Because it point. gets harder to target. Because if she's going to land on you, she's really easy to target with a flay. Um, so Leona's uh, taking the time to uh, hit that right. So I don't think I said this before, but I am I, I do work for Faxat, so if I sound biased. Uh, I apologize for that. Just, Max is gonna try to uh, <laughs> keep me honest here. Keep me honest, yeah. But I will note that um, oh, got another gank committed. Feels like this keeps going back. Yeah, this one's it. Ooh, first blood. Oh, uh, that fear and uh, and Leona's dark, or and uh, Morgana's dark binding. Yeah, they they chained their CC really well there. They got the fear and then they got the uh, the snare and then they got her soul shackles right after that. Yeah. Um, Minute action bot lane. I was curious about that uh, that fight they went in for because everyone was a pretty high health when they went in for it, but uh, it's, I, I couldn't even tell you which way it's going to go right now. Okay. Oh, and then there goes Leon's flashed, but they both seem to have made it out okay. Just barely. <laughs> that was close back and forth. I thought Lucian was in trouble earlier than that as well. Oh, let's see. Morgana's still up in CS a lot. 80 carries, junglers, and top laners are all pretty even, though. Yeah, this is all really close. I'm, I'm surprised Garen is so far is actually ahead in CS in that top Me lane. Me too. At least has been pressuring him a lot with Ras, but if she's in, not in spider form, it can be harder for her to last hit without using all her mana. You know, she's starting to have mana problems, you see. So. Yeah, though. That makes sense. And her auto attacks don't do that much damage in in human form, so. so even though, yeah, even though she has the range advantage. Um, but yeah, uh, Garen's pulling ahead decently well there. Oops. So, one advantage in the bottom lane that I think is going to pay some rewards. Oh. Oh, there goes um, the ignite down on Garen. And there goes his flash. I don't think it's going to take yeah. him down, but he's going to have to go back. Yeah. But because Lucian was for, even though the AD carries are pretty close in CS, uh, Lucian was forced to go back a little early, so he only got his Vamp Scepter, and Caitlyn was able to save up and come back with the BF Sword. So I'm going to be interested to see if they can make that damage advantage that they have at this moment, if they can translate that into a kill. Also, Leona has not gone for a gold generation item, unless you count... Uh, a sight stone as a gold generation item, which some people some people do, um, but Thresh has. So uh, we'll be able to, it'll be interesting to see if that uh, turns into a gold disparity as we go forward. Fiddlesticks is hanging around the dragon. Uh, I know with his drain, Fiddlesticks can solo a dragon relatively earlier, not Nasus early, but pretty early. Um, I think I think it's possible for him to do it. I'm not sure. He's thinking about it. <laughs> Uh, he might be able to see if they can get some grass down here. There goes Leona all. Oh, and there goes uh, Lucian. Oh, all right. and all from Fiddlesticks coming in, and the fear, and ace in the hole, and down he goes. And that'll do it. So not only did first kill go in the mid lane, we got a double kill bot lane, and I imagine even with Jarvan coming to help, they might be able to turn this into significant damage on the turret, if not also the dragon. Yeah, it looks like they, they went for the damage on the turret and now they're heading over to Drake. It's a safe play. Very yeah, I mean, 
me fix my camera here. It doesn't want to. <laughs> it doesn't think that's important. Um, but yeah, they're putting up proper wards. They've got their jungler, and even though Jarvan's alive, Jarvan is going back instead of contesting this dragon. It would be a hard, con difficult contest for sure. Um, yeah. But he, he can get over that wall and try to smite, but it's probably not worth it. Yeah, he also doesn't have a ward. I guess he could use his flag to scout for it, but but you're right, it's a very big risk. It's not it's not really worth it. Yeah. And again, pool party the owner's uh, return to base animation is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's looking pretty good for Fax that up three kills to nothing, and the first dragon, and they got some damage on that bottom turret. Uh, let me double check, see. Yep, how much damage uh, is taken. A three it's more than half damage. Yeah. And Fiddlesticks is making a return to the mid lane, and he does. And he used her flash and still died for it. So that Fiddlesticks uh, pickup is going pretty well. Um, yeah, so for sure. Now, and now Fiddlesticks, despite having given over his blue buff to Morgana, is able to, or, or is able to get Morgana her own blue buff, despite having taken yeah. his in the beginning. He stole it from Annie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Fiddlesticks really needs that blue buff, so it's important for him. But um, Morgana likes it too, so that's good. Yeah. Or is that that's not that's not the blue buff actually? Is it? That's uh, that's a different aura. I don't know, I think I think my replay is a little little wonky here. Morgana does have the blue buff. You're right. Okay. She's got it. I don't know what this fiddle sticks has. Yeah, fiddle sticks has blue right now too. Okay. Thought I saw it on Jarvan. Sorry, people, but we have another fight in the bottom lane, and fact that's eighty carry is taking some damage, but not before he Ooh. pulls a lot back on Thresh. There we go. <laughs> We only got the kill on that one. Yeah. That's okay. Caitlyn was down quite a bit. Well, again, we're growing into a 5 nothing lead for Faxet. And I think Leona can probably walk out of this without too much issue. I think so, too. Oh, well, maybe not walk oh, out of that. The Cataclysm. But, uh... He Lucian's, doesn't have flash up. Ooh. Lucian just was not able to deal enough damage. Here's the Caitlyn ult. And the Fiddlestick ult. <laughs> And the counter Lucian and Jarvan. <laughs> the counter gank comes down, and that's another couple kills. This is not looking good for the Geek Squad so far. Oop, and in the top lane, Garen's getting engaged on him. He got stunned. He got a cocoon landed on him and then uh -oh. ran the other way. But, Ooh. oh, he's able to oh. turn it around. But I think we're going to see a bottom lane tower going down, and he gets caught oh. out again in the he mid lane. And, and that'll turn into some damage on the mid turret as well. So despite the... Very close fight in the top lane. This is going pretty well for Fact Set. Yep. Um, I think what we saw there with that Jarvan Cataclysm, I think that was a direct result of the BF Sword versus Vamp Scepter. Lucian just wasn't able to put enough damage down onto onto Leona, even though she was in the Cataclysm, and then Jarvan was stuck in there getting hit by Caitlyn repeatedly as well. Yep, I completely um, agree. If Lucian wasn't doing enough damage because he was behind a, a BF Sword, so if I look at quick CS numbers, Caitlyn has pulled ahead, and that's almost entirely... Oh, Jarvan going for a... Call it a gank in mid lane, but with a Rabbit on death cap on Morgana, he's going to take some damage. And Whoa, there he goes. Um, but I would say, um, with, with Lucian getting pushed out of lane so many times, Caitlyn is up a good 20 CS. In the mid lane, it's going very well for fact set, up by almost 50 CS. And top lane, Garen's actually staying ahead of... Um, of Elise. All right, so on the bottom lane, Bye. Leona went in, and but Geek Squad doesn't have any turret to go back to anymore. So yeah, Lucian Lucian e, uh, used the Z to get out of uh, the Leona all just in time, and they were able to back out of that one. Yeah, this is very important. Even if you can just get to the edge of it where it's a slow instead of a stun, that's or if you get hit by the slow, he can he can use that to basically cleanse off the the slow effect. Yep. This is very slippery. The bot lane for effects that's in such a dominant position, they're able to, to zone out Lucian and Thresh entirely. They they can't even really get, get close to the creeps. Indeed. So, one thing good about having such kind of a, a supporting mid laner is that when they group up for team fights, even if Annie is not as fed as Morgana is, she'll still she's still gonna have a lot of utility in team fights. Uh, they just need to make sure they're gonna get some damage put out. Now, their Jar Jarvan is building kind of tanky, so they're gonna need to make sure that damage is coming from somewhere. Uh, but as long as they can lay down some damage, it should be in a good place. 
yeah, once Lucian can get some items under his belt, I think, you know, that they could have a chance to actually fight. We've got a jungle fight in D-Squad's jungle. Uh, oh, and Arvin's Morgana Rome. I think it's going to be a problem driving unless you yeah. pluck that lantern. Oh. No. The CC was too strong. Yeah. Oh, there's the engage on Thresh. He flashed. Oh, and there's the Caitlyn ult, and Thresh is down. Again, another two for nothing there in the jungle of Geek Squad. Looks like they're getting the red taken away, and I wouldn't be surprised if that turret takes quite a bit of damage, either the mid or the bottom, wherever they want to go. Yeah, this is the advantage they get when they get both the bot and the mid turrets down. It's really easy for Faxet to roam it into the enemy jungle and, and go wherever they please. Alright, uh, so Lucian has his BF sword now, so he's able to do a little more damage, uh, but Leon is still able to dive behind his turret and not be too afraid. Yeah. Oh, Aaron going in on Elise, diving, and there goes the ult, and Elise is down. I would say the top lane is the one bright spot so far here for the Geek Squad. Um, you can just look at the scores. Everyone else is O and X, and Karen is X and 0. Yeah. Um, Still looking grim for them with an 8,000 gold lead in X, so it's pretty tough. Yeah, I think their only hope here is if they can get a big Annie Tibber stun with Garen and Lucian in the middle doing some a little bit of AoE damage. Uh, I think they can uh, think they have a chance to turn the team fight around, but we see Fiddlesticks uh, soloing the dragon here. So that's what I was talking about earlier, how he's with his drain, he's just healing so much of the damage he's taking that he can just solo it, even though there's very little ward coverage in the actual dragon pit by either team. Yeah, no fiddlestick sustain is, is very, very good. And as we talked about before, Eternal King has some experience on that champion. So, Jarvan goes by and checks the Dragon Pit, but because they didn't have any wards down there. And it didn't even look like, I mean, the fact it doesn't have any sweepers, and they didn't put a pink ward down there, so they kind of just did that, not even caring if Geek Squad <laughs> knew about it. Yeah. Um, now, at this point, I would, with all the, you know, Fax is making some nice rotations, and they've taken over that bottom side of Geek Squad's jungle. I'm surprised I'm not seeing more wards by the Geek Squad. I know when you're down gold, it, it's rough to try to spend your money on wards. Oh. Fiddlesticks is uh, coming in. And if they can turn around this top Garen lane... Up oh, and Garen pulls out. Cleanup, so he's out. Oh, oh my God. Run top from Morgana. Yeah. But I don't think Jarvan can... Take, yeah, Jarvan's gonna take die. Of yeah, that the Morgana ult is too much damage. Oh, and they're going for dive on Garen. Now, I'm are not they, sure what's oh, going on here. They're sort of no, they really aren't sure if they want to go in for it. Yeah, I think. Oh, and there comes Annie. The good timber stun, and there goes that fill six is down. Garen's coming in with the spin. Uh, he has no ult. Oh no, he does have his ult. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think if Fax had. Dove there a little more decisively. They might have been able to get Garen before Annie showed up with the AOE stun, yeah. but they're still going to get out of this with an e at least an even trade. Yeah, I don't know why Dan Garen didn't use his ult. I think he could have gotten at least. Uh... Oh, nice Leona ult. Uh, they're able to hit Lucian just as the tower goes down, and Caitlyn is dealing plenty of damage. Yeah. Thresh might get away, but Jarvan's going to take some hits as well. Oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 the block. Oh, you Jarvan couldn't quite down. get in the way. Down. Um, yeah, so that's a second bottom turret down. The top turret for Geek Squad is still holding. Um, but yeah, I, I would like to see some more um, some wards in the jungle by the Geek Squad here, because they're getting caught out a little bit by some of the facts at Rome's, and just a little bit of gold in that would probably help. I even I even see you know three of the Geek Squad members not even not having used their trinket wards yet. Yeah, I'm surprised to see Thrush doesn't even have a uh, sight stone. You know, he wanted to upgrade his gold item first maybe, but but still at, at this point, you know, he he's been behind, so he can't have that much gold. But I I think he, he could have gotten closer to it. Yep, and Fiddlesticks coming back with the ultimate again, and I think that's basically a fact that needs to do this time. Garen's like again sort of the a bright spot here for uh, for the Geek Squad. If they can take that down, take that top turret, they'll take over even more of Geek Squad's jungle. 
Yep, they're really putting a lot of pressure on Garen now. So, any kind of committed to that Rod of the Ages uh, in the beginning of the game, but with the game moving as quickly as it is, uh, I'm not... I don't know if she should have switched uh, directions, but doesn't have any stacks on it right now, so it's basically not going to be fully powered up for another 10 minutes. And honestly, I'm not sure if this game's going to last another 10 minutes. I agree, yeah. It's not going to give her too much power there. Um, in fact, it's able to defend this turret, but Lucia's got a good amount of damage on it. Oh, the long range Leona ult is escaped by Lucian. Oops. But it but it pushes him back and into Morgana who's making a roam. Yep. We're kinda sneaking through the jungle, as you said, there are no jungle wards there. She can, oh she's she can manage to get her ult on two of them. <laughs> oh oh. Lucian's the priority target though. Yeah, it looks like he missed his dash over the wall. That Lucian dash is actually a pretty short range. You can get it over some of those thin walls, but you have to be right up close. Yeah, he he also flashed and missed his flash over the wall too. Oh, maybe it was the flash instead of the dash. Yeah, I'm not sure. A bit unfortunate. Yeah. That would have saved him, but fact that uh, grouping up here, uh, with Elise taking care of the top lane, and I wouldn't be surprised if they can take this turret. Yeah, they're in a strong position now to start pressuring towers. The only gets hooked, but that's not the one you want to hook. And oh, damage to the pressure takes so strong. Oh, Fiddle Six is ulting into the back. He's getting all three members here. And that Fiddle Six ult did quite a bit of damage. So that was the fight. It was it was close to going Geek Squad's way. They got some they significant. Did get Morgana. Uh, yeah, they got Morgana. Oh, she finally went down there in the back. But yeah, they got they got some multiple area stuns. But again, they just didn't have the damage to put down on top of it. Now, without the minion wave, Fax is having a little bit of trouble taking down this turret. Yeah, and the the timers are still pretty short at this moment in the game. So um, Jarvin's up, Annie's almost up, Garen's almost up. So I think that it looks like they're gonna back off for now and take uh, Geek Squad's uh, red buff, and Elise is still pushing the top lane going for that turret. Yeah, at this point, um, you know, she's she's still pretty behind in CS. Um, you know, almost, uh, almost 40. Um, but she's able to, you know, just let her split push out there. She's actually building damage. There's not really a true tank other than Leona on the fact set side, which is interesting. Um, you know, obviously Fiddlesticks is He's, he's got that as on his hourglass. He's got a little bit of a bit of armor, but he's mainly going damage. Um, so Leon is their main tank at this point. Yeah, and Leon is a good tank. You know, our W adds a lot of bonus stats for free, so that's great. And she is so fed now that she already has a Sunfire Cape, so it's really strong. It looks like Lucian's or Thrush is trying to build uh, something similar, maybe a range of its own, but. I don't think he's going to get there. Well, as a neat, nice comeback mechanic here, uh, Geek Squad manages to take the Dragon while Fax had a regrouping, but they might be able to take the Baron, and that's not a trade that will work out well for Geek Squad. No, and they don't have any wards in that area, but I think they know, because everyone is missing. There's only one place they can be. Yeah. And um, they know they're a Baron. It's going down really quickly with that Phantom Dancer and that Infinity Edge on Caitlyn, but oh. with the Baron buff... Oh, that... that, that that might have been an I'm Jarvan, I'm helping situation. <laughs> yeah. um, it's hard, when they're grouped up like that, it's hard to pick one person out, though. Um, but Jarvan takes tons of damage. Lucian is being chased down by Leona. Leona. Yeah, Leona almost soloed him. Get yeah. it. I'm going to get him with that Sunfire Cape. Um, she did, yeah. And things continue to go well for Faxet. Uh, two for nothing, and Garen's taking some damage, and they've got that Baron buff. So um, I believe it's when around the time when everyone's level, average team levels, or average player levels, fifteen, that the dragon gold is roughly equal to the baron gold. So we're not quite there, but we're actually pretty close. So the gold is roughly equal, you know, from, the, from those two. Yeah, tanks. I actually didn't know that, but yeah, it increases. And I think it caps out at fifteen hundred. It's almost as much as baron. So the baron gold is no. static throughout the throughout the game. Ooh, oh, there middle sticks all followed by the Morgana all. Oh wow, it's really strong engage. Got yeah. Nothing, and that goes to Trey, and expecting the inhibit to go down too. I mean, we're at an 18,000 gold lead here at 24 minutes. That's pretty insurmountable. And Morgana just walks up to the two oh, turrets. Yeah, the surrender. Did yeah. Uh, it was a good game. It went pretty quick. Uh, it went pretty quickly though. Um, some of those ganks for fact set did really well. Um, their bottom lane and their mid lane went really strong. The bottom lane actually started winning 
pretty much by itself. The mid lane went really well with the help of Fiddlesticks. Their top lane lost a little bit, didn't lose that that hard. That first death wasn't until um, pretty late into the game. So, all in all, it's a pretty well played game by Faxet. Um, again, I would like to see some more wards by uh, Geek Squad, but I'm not sure how much that would have helped. But it was definitely an interesting game. Yeah, definitely good game. It was stopped by Faxet, but you know it's, it's, it's still a strong showing by them. Yep. So uh, Faxet will end the week undefeated, uh, and uh, I think I think that's about all. You have anything else to to add, Chris? No. All right. Well then, uh, on that note, we will see you next week uh, for Facts. That's week three game. Happy gaming.